I'm going to do, um, do a quick uh, unboxing and overview on the EK FC 780 GTX TIE water block. It also fits uh, 780 and GTX Titans. Um, the 780s uh, and 780 TIEs need to have a reference design for the for the reference ports. Which, you know, is exactly the same as the one for GTX Titan and stuff. So. Pretty much all standard GK110 cards will fit into this block. Um, EK water blocks have proven to be the best in VRM, oh, by, in cooling the VRMs. Um, the other one that comes close is the XSPC Razor block. That one also cools the VRM uh, actively instead of passively and here's what you get in the box you open it there's also a couple a couple of seals which i broke i forgot to mention it but let's see once you break those seals you can return it so you get your manual uh, all right uh, thermal paste hardware thermal pads these are all 0.5 millimeter thick um, the ones for the VRM, I mean for the memory already pre-cut, you can just put those and then for the VRMs, you will have to uh, cut them and stuff. It all comes in a manual on how you're supposed to cut them and stuff and here's the block and again one of the reasons why these are the best for, for GK110 is because they actively cool the VRM. There's actually liquid going through the, the back here. And here's here's pretty much the the same block but with the clear acrylic top. And you can see that there's water coming in, going through the GPU area and around the VRM. While like models like the Hydrocopper from Swiftec, um, they don't have water going through this channel. Basically it goes through here. And around here around the GPU and this is pretty much passively cooled which is not necessarily bad but when you're overclocking you get a lot more stability and you have better cooling performance from this block and it may not be the best looking but it's the one that performs the best for uh, VRM cooling and there's also a seal here on the package and what you get this is what you get from EK um, this is an acetal copper model I like copper um, I, I don't know either EK nickel plating that I used in the past just didn't live up to its name or whatever it started flaking and corroding after a month and I was, I was just using distilled water so you know I don't mind the, the Staining or corroding on the nickel plating, but I did mind the flaking so you know That's why I switched back to copper and you can see that this one says GTX Titan The replacement says GTX 780 tie like I said these are all the same as long as your cards are referenced 780 780 tie and Titan they all will fit So yeah, that that's pretty much what comes in the box Man, there's not much to it instructions it's pretty pretty easy to assemble pretty self-explanatory and like I said the reason why I went with these and why I will recommend anyone with a GK 110 card is because of the active BRM cooling and the other the only other model that does that is the XSPC um, you know heat killer Aqua computer they have very nice looking blocks but they don't offer the performance that these guys do so yep that's it all right guys thanks for watching hope you enjoy my brief unboxing of a great product that i will recommend and enjoy thanks peace